And now we are going to check is y equals to negative 1 half x times cos x. If this is a solution to this differential equation, y double prime plus y is equal to sin x. We are given the original equation, but then in this differential equation, we must have the second derivative in order for us to plug in and check. So with that being said, let's look at the original and differentiate it twice. This is negative 1 half times x times cos x. I can look at this as like that. Negative 1 half x as the first function, and then the second function is just cos x. And then to differentiate this, I have to use the product rule. And let's go ahead and do it. So the first derivative, by the product rule it says, I will have to first keep the first function, negative 1 half x, and then I will multiply by the derivative second. Derivative cos x is negative sin x. Then put parentheses. And then I will have to add the second function, which is cos x, times the derivative of the first. The derivative of negative 1 half x is just negative 1 half. So we have negative 1 half, like that. And we can clean this up a little bit before we go to the next derivative. Because negative times negative, we know it's positive, and then we have 1 half x times sin x for the first part, and then we have plus cos x times negative 1 half, which is minus 1 half cos x. So this will be a much more useful first derivative uh, formula. And now, second derivative in action. For the first part, we have 1 half x times sin x. Product rule once again, right? So I keep the first function, which is 1 half x div uh, times the derivative second, which is going to be cos sin x. And then I will add the second function, which is sin x, times the derivative of the first. The derivative of 1 half x is just 1 half. I'm done with that. And now we have to, do, we have to differentiate this. So I'm going to subtract and put on the minus 1 half, which is right here, and minus 1 half. And then the derivative of cos x is negative sin x. So be careful. This is going to be a minus negative sin x. So all in all, it's going to be a plus. And then something we're going to see pretty cool. This is 1 half x cos x. And then this is 1 half sin x. And then this is minus times minus. So we, have, we add another 1 half sin x. And then this and that are exactly the same. 1 half, another 1 half, all in all is 1. So this is 1 half x cosine x plus 1 sine x. And this is the second derivative. OK, now these are the ingredients. I just have to plug in and then check to see if it work or not. So I would like to see if the second derivative, which is going to be that, which is 1 half x times cosine x plus sine x. And if I add the original function, which is y, so let me add the y, which is going to be negative 1 half x times cosine x. So the y is negative 1 half x cosine x, right? The original equation. And do you think that we are going to get sine x? I shouldn't put equal sign right here. I mean, I shouldn't put a question mark right there. I should have put a question mark right here. If I do that, do you think we can get sine x? And the answer to that is yes, because this and that, they are exactly the same. And then we have sine x on the left-hand side, and this is exactly the same as the sine x on the right-hand side. So the answer to this is yes. This is the solution to this differential equation by just differentiating and verifying. That's it.